this is a really quick and uh, basic exercise you can do in just a few minutes uh, whenever you grab them doing the washing up, wiping your kids' ass, whatever. It's an excellent starting point though for any random passing idea and includes vital ingredients for any story like flour, eggs, sugar. And if even if you don't have time to write your own story, you can use it on whatever you're reading, whatever you're watching, TV show, film, whatever, or even just a potential idea of a story that you have percolating in the back of your head. So you need three ingredients. Number one, who is your story about? <laughs> character. You need a character. Uh, number two, what does your character want? <laughs> they need a goal. Thirdly, why can't they have it? Conflicts. Conflicts. Conflict. Uh, this is really basic, but every story has it because you need a protagonist. They need to want something or need something or have to do something or be motivated by something. And then you need to fuck it up for them and make sure they can't have it or do it or get it or, or actually what they wanted wasn't what they needed. Mm. So, examples. Examples? Star Wars! Star Wars! Luke Skywalker is a backcountry farmer who wants to be a hero. Uh, he gets a chance to save a uh, damsel in distress and become a Jedi. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Mm -hmm. uh, but first he must learn the ways of the Force and face insurmountable, yes. insurmountable odds to defeat the Empire. It's just like Tara getting wild there. Wild <laughs> rats. Uh, or Moana. She's destined to become the next chief of her village, uh, but secretly she wants to be an explorer on the ocean. Uh, but her island becomes under threat by some weird gloopy curse thing, and she has to return the heart, return the heart of defeaty. Uh, but along the way, she gets sidetracked by uh, men, <laughs> um, just <laughs> annoying god and uh, various coconut creatures and things getting in her way, obstacles, oh! um, which she overcomes obviously because Disney. she's awesome. Yeah. Macbeth yeah. Uh, is a big ass war hero. I've never actually read or watched Macbeth. This is your this is your domain. I'm just reading your notes. Uh, some witches tell him he's destined to be king. Obviously, that's how uh, that's watery bints waving swords. Yeah, yeah, distributing swords. <laughs> uh, but he and his wife are a little creative with their interpretation of this prophecy and murder a lot of people. A whole bunch of people. Moral of the story: Don't do murdering. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, or Jane Eyre, who is an orphan frustrated with her position in life and society, uh, so she becomes a governess and falls in love with Mr. Rochester. Mm, problematic. Uh, <laughs> but Rochester turns out to be a massive dick, not only out of her class, league, and also as previously married. Spoilers. Um, so uh, we have, we get the idea. We have uh, one, one, a character. Two, we have a goal. And three, sorry, I just touched your boob. Conflict. I do not get the people who fancy Mr. Rochester. Mm. He's a shitbag. He is a shitbag. When he dresses as the uh, <laughs> the, the, the the fortune teller, <laughs> yeah, just, just like weird. yeah. But who do you fancy, Jane? <laughs> do you, what do you think about Mr. That's Rochester? So high school, isn't it? <laughs> Um, obviously um, this is really reductive and really simple and yeah, 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 we know we need a character and they need to do something and things are difficult. But it gets more interesting because you can layer it up. You might find along the way that your character, uh, character's goals change and, and maybe they get what they think they wanted and then they have a new goal or a new goal or when they get what they think they wanted, it's totally different. Maybe the thing that they think they needed is not the thing they needed at all it is in fact the thing they want but is detrimental to them so true like 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 a major epiphany so i'm just i'm pointing it <laughs> on the script you can't see that uh luke, we don't have a script this is all off the cuff totally out totally. of our brain pads yeah luke skywalker originally wanted to join the imperial academy um <laughs> a pilot stop moving the table i'm not you are um i.e <laughs> killing filthy rebels <laughs> And um, his goal was totally, totally switched when he saw his sexy sister. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that plot point at all. Imagine it's like, you know, if you tried to explain the plot of Star Wars to someone who had never heard of it, they're like, I'm sorry, what? This is, this is, okay. Um, so he changed his goal and then he got sidetracked by becoming a Jedi. And then he got sidetracked again because he had to destroy, it's not a moon, it's a Death Star. Um, <laughs> Changing goals. They, this happens all the way through. <clears throat> Conflict changes as well. Uh, like Jane Eyre 
she wants to escape her shitty family because they're shit bags. Uh, then she decides she wants to live a moral life because mm. she's Jane Eyre, and she spends about two hundred pages resisting uh, the weird and confusing desire for Rochester in the slowest of all slow burns, the slowest of all will he, won't he, they, them, she, uh, when actually she uh, gets what she wants. It's certainly not what she wanted after all. Because he's married. Because he's married already. Be and then she mistress, decides Jane. she's going to be uh, an independent woman. And uh, she fucking settles, does she? No. She settles. Mm. Anyway, so plenty of conflict, lots of interpretations. Uh, later <laughs> yeah, up, more yeah. problems, more bastardry. Every time you change the goal, add more conflict, vice versa. Et voila. If you are attracted Escorate. to Mr. Rochester, please why? don't tell us why. Oh, no, I'll explain why. We want to know. Yeah. Um, there you go. Always come back to your three elements. Uh, one, character. Two, two goal. Three, conflict. Ta-da! Bada-bing!